Should you find yourself under attack at any point in your life, remember Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 12, which says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Jesus Christ outranks every demon, every principality, every ruler of darkness, including the devil. Jesus Christ outranks them all. As a child of God, you're fighting from a position of victory. You're not fighting for victory, but from a position of victory because the battle was already won by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As you grow and mature as a Christian, there will come a time when you have to increase in your knowledge. The Bible says, my people perish because of what? A lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge is a dangerous thing. And here's why it's so dangerous. It's dangerous because it means you are in a fight with no weapons, with no vision. The Christian life, to be put plainly, is a fight. That's just what it is. That's why we're told to fight the good fight. That's why we are told that we wrestle against principalities. That's why the Bible says, he who endures to the end, he who perseveres or stands firm to the end shall be saved. Reading between the lines, this all tells me that when I choose to follow Christ, I am enlisting in his army. I'm signing up to fight. So how can you be in a fight with a lack of knowledge about your enemy? How can you be in a battle with a lack of knowledge about your tools and the resources you have to defend yourself? A lack of knowledge is what unfortunately destroys too many Christians. Without knowledge, you will perish according to the Bible. You will perish because you will become fearful. And fear really only enters because you have taken Jesus Christ out of the equation. Of course you'll become fearful at the thought of fighting evil principalities on your own. Of course you'll be fearful at the thought of fighting demons on your own. But when you have knowledge, you will not fear. When you have knowledge, you will not perish. When you have the knowledge that Jesus Christ holds absolute power over all things, then you will not perish. When you have the knowledge that Christ outranks the highest ranking member of the kingdom of darkness, then you eliminate fear. This is why it's so important to know God's word, because the Bible says in James chapter 2, verse 19, you believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. Even the demons tremble when you get God involved. You shouldn't be moved to fear or worry because of the kingdom of darkness. The Bible says in Luke 10, verse 17, Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Just the name of Jesus Christ alone holds enough power to defeat the devil. His name alone carries power. So I encourage you to fight from a place where you know that you can call on the Son of God, the one who has the highest rank above all. Live with freedom and boldness. Yes, you may have to fight a demon at some point. You may have to fight a ruler of wickedness at some point. But if God is for us, who can be against us? Even the devil himself is a defeated foe. I would like to end with a few fighting words. A verse that you should know as you fight this good fight of faith. Luke 10 verse 19 says, I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy, Satan, and nothing will in any way harm you. We have authority through the name of Jesus Christ. 
we have authority through the blood of Jesus. Through faith, this authority is what we need to exercise. And that is the kind of knowledge we ought to have. The gates of hell cannot prevail. They will not prevail because we have knowledge. We have the knowledge of the authority we're given by Christ. We know that we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to overcome the devil. We know that God has angels encamped all around us. There is a divine perimeter protecting you and me as children of God. Let me remind you that there are two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of light and there's the kingdom of darkness. When you surrender to Jesus, when you give your life to Jesus, do you know what happens? You're transformed from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. The moment we received Jesus Christ, we went from being in darkness to being children of his marvelous light. Now let me tell you something. Did you know that darkness is irritated by light? Darkness can't stand light. And do you know what that means? It means that the devil can't stand you. But equally it means that God Almighty will empower you. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Jesus is telling us here that we have power over the enemy. There's nothing the devil can do to you when you know who you are in Christ. Now, perhaps you need some encouragement because you've come under attack from the enemy. But I want to tell you, to encourage you even, God is ready to sharpen your weapons. He's ready to give you a new strategy. He's ready to renew your strength. In this season you're in, you've got to know that the Word of God is available to you as a believer. Start declaring that. You're more than a conqueror. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. Your hands are blessed. Your feet are blessed. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. God is walking with you. With God, all things are possible. And saints, if you can just maintain your belief, if you can just remain strong in faith, God will come through for you. Regardless of what the devil throws your way, keep your trust in the rock of ages. And so I pray that you would find this to be a new season for both you and for your household. I encourage you to get ready to conquer the impossible. I encourage you to speak faith for the impossible. The impossible is about to come. I encourage you to hold on to your faith in spite of what you're going through, in spite of what you know, or in spite of what you see. Saints, we are blessed. No one is more blessed than you. If you are in Christ, you have been blessed. You have gifts inside of you. And so do not be afraid. Do not have any fear. God is with you.